All right, let's go. In the bottom left, we do have our good Basilisk player, Reyna. And in the top right, we do have Classic playing for Twisted, mm, Twisted Fate, I have to say. Is the team called, yes. <clears throat> excuse me, I still have a little bit of a throat infection, so excuse me for any weird sounds or noises I might make here. But it's getting better. Classic going for a low ground wall here, no surprise. It's gonna go with the gateway expand, very safe and very solid build. Proven in the PvZ matchup. And this is an interesting probe. Okay, so he's just gonna check, hey, did Reyna, did you go for the gold base or not? And yeah, he's gonna confirm, no, indeed, Reyna did just grab his normal expansion. And he'll see that in a second here. There we go, he's just gonna skirt by there. And that means, well, we're just gonna go into a Nexus from here. No early cybernetic score, no early pressure, no two gate, which is potentially an answer to the early um, gold base there for a Zerg player. And Reyna deciding to go into a later gas, so he did do the um, the, the drone cancel. <coughs> Excuse me, so what it means is he's gonna have an earlier hatchery, it's not gonna get blocked. And the second thing is, you'll get faster queens with this, but you do delay your speed. So you do have a faster double queen with this setup, but your gas is gonna be delayed, so the speed is gonna start way, way later. This opens you up a little bit to adept harassment sometimes, but there's no two gate opening, so it's not gonna be that terrible. It's gonna be very solid. We're gonna see in a second here what Classic is gonna decide with this 150 gas. Seems like a Stargate, the true and tried and standard here as well from our Protoss player. Queen's gonna start pushing out a probe. And he's gonna go for an early creep, creep tumor here, trying to connect his bases. The drone is a little bit stuck there behind the queen. Just to get ahead of that one. Gonna go for the third base. First adept on its way. Second one is in production here, so classic. Just gonna go for the very standard place here. I've said this so many times, but yeah. <clears throat> it is true, so not much you can do about it. It's very solid. It's gonna go for an early third, most likely. And then into Twilight Forge, so it's gonna be the hero style kind of. That hero really started to punch out there into the world. Mm, interesting, Reyna is trying to diverse his angling for the creep there. It's gonna allow him to be a little bit more mobile on the front there on that ramp against those adepts or potentially oracles. First oracle on the way here is not gonna stop by to kill the overlord. He does not have a stalker. Going a little bit on an interesting route here. Pulling back both adapts, so they're not gonna go in for um, extra harassment here. This is a very interesting position. I really love this in between the geyser and then there's also the pylon here. But let's have a look at the first oracles. Just gonna take a drone here, it seems. Can you find anything at the third? One is just gonna pop here, go into a gas. Perfect save by Reyna there. So. Trying to come back, actually, trying to go for the assassination here. Nice timing there, actually, by Classic, but did not work out. Second Oracle coming in here at the natural. Nothing there, actually. Naked natural there. Trying to save the first drone is gonna die. Two drones counting here. Three, four drones actually doing a lot of damage there. And grabbing one on the out here as well. Could have even gone for this one if he wouldn't have turned it off so fast. And we see Oracle number three. So this is the standard three Oracle opening into Twilight Forge and extra gates here. The third base, of course, is about to be done. And then we're gonna see the three Oracles come again here and try to get some harassment damage done. The natural was very naked, so he's gonna attempt again for the natural. This is bait here, but he needs to be careful. You don't wanna lose it. This is very low, two HP. One hit away from death there. 
And two oracles coming in again. Five more drones. Hey, that's decent damage. That's ten drones. For three oracles, not gonna lose anything. Yeah, that's good. Good damage. And so Reyna, you're a little bit... Um, especially for the first oracle sweep there. You're a little bit sad about losing those drones on the natural. Those five drones. Could have been prevented if he would have been in position there with his queens. I'm gonna see the Overlord get pushed back now. Robo is gonna start. Lynx are gonna probe the third base. Maybe he can find a pile on anything. He could have tried to go for the Stalkers, but of course Oracles are above, so it's, it's a tough call. Going for a revelation here is gonna scout the Roach Warren. But no Roach is really in production yet, so it seems this is only gonna be some safety for Reyna. In fact, he seems to be going for a very fast hive here. So as soon as Leia finishes, instantly throws down the infestation pit uh, while he's going into his plus one range attack. So this could be very quick lurkers. We're going to see if there's going to be a hydralisk then in a m m minute and then a follow-up lurker then or not. This could also just be very quick vipers. I mean, those spellcasters are insanely powerful. He can, he's going for range attack, so it's probably not going to be anything like Ultralisks or something. Oh, this is a very greedy attempt there on that creep. Notice the depths are very low now. <coughs> but very fast for fourth base here as well. For both players, actually almost matching the timing here from Reyna there. And I love this. Throwing down a gate here, getting some extra defense for that cannon up, basically. And this as well, like creating a little bit of a wall at those uh, outer bases is very good. You need those gateways anyways, and if they die, hey, it's not that big of a deal. You still have whatever aid or something. And it's just 150 minutes. Wow, this is such a bad trade. Reyna kind of needs to get out of here and recognizes this. He should have surrounded those from the get-go. That was a perfect trade here for Classic. So far, Classic's been doing amazingly well if you take a look at the units lost oh my god i don't even want to close your eyes guys 10 drones 13 links and an overload for just an adept can it get any better well it can of course but it's almost impossible against someone like reyna try try yourself amazing beautiful place here from classic so far and we do have the double robo now Starting to pump out probably some models and observers here. And we do have... Oh, this is a pylon now. For a second I thought, hey, maybe this is a duck trap. So storm should be done. There we go. And this is indeed Hydra and probably going to be a lurker follow-up here. Trying to scout with the oracle a little bit. It's going to maybe see the lurker. Then, yep, gets the confirmation here. It's even going to stay this trap here. And it's going to hit one drone. Okay. In the end, perfect defense here by Reyna. The Oracle is gonna sit here. I like Oracles actually sitting around at the army, and these need to start doing some stasis wards. They have so much energy. There we go. They're almost capped on energy. Put up some of these wards. They also generate some vision, so even like pushing them out a little further, like setting up some traps, is something you can do with them. And if not, they'll provide you some, some scouting information about army movement. I mean, holding the center and Alki one is pretty strong anyways, because you get that Xel Nagatao, which sees so much. And yeah, this Ling attack has been seen by those Adepts here. Adepts are going to get defended. Links need to get out of here. He's trying to go for a cancel. This might be the perfect commit, but no, actually, the Storm here to save the Nexus. Wow. Beautiful play by Classic there. Actually, Reyna had the right an amount of Links to try and fight that nexus so beautiful recall on those two models they shouldn't have been here in the first place though and now they're kind of back against the wall there's no recall available here for the rest oracles are gonna get sniped here beautiful play by reyna on the same time we do have a cancel on this nexus and a counter attack there from classic in reyna's fourth base but reyna is actually pushing the issue really hard here the counter attack is gonna be defended by the static d and the queens in being in position there but the attack is kind of thinning out on Reyna's end. He still has all those links just surrounding nothing in the top left here. They should get to work. They should try to probe the entrance to the natural here. He's trying to micro his front for now. Rattle attacked. 
Can he actually push through? This is a Lurker Siege, so it's very tough to defend here for Classic. He's trying to whittle down those Hydras by, with Storms and just gearing up for a surround here. But is it going to be enough? Is it going to be a little bit too late, maybe? Storm coming in here on those Lurkers, attack on those Lurkers. He does have everyone actually committed there. But at the same time, those links swooped in from the north and hey, GG is called perfect execution here by Rain. A beautiful fight, actually. Just one push to bring the man down. That was beautifully done. Thank you so much for the follow. Do have those alerts on. I don't know why it didn't play a sound for me, but it's probably gonna do it very soon. So oh, let's hop into map number two here. There we go. In the bottom right, we do have Reyna being up 1 0. Beautiful engagement there in the last game. And in the top left, we do have Classic kind of being a little bit well out of position there, unfortunately. Not really gearing up the uh, army he needed there against the Lurker push from Reyna. I mean, he had a lot of immortals, but like, it didn't. Like, everything was kind of out of position. There was no flank setup. He sacrificed a lot of zealots for a counter-attack that didn't do anything. He lost the... what was it actually? A fifth base, I think, in the north to just links. Like having an Archon in a position surrounded with like pilots or something set up there could have been a superb play and like a Templar or maybe a shit battery or something, you know? He didn't have really anything there. And then he gets flanked from those links actually. Beautiful play there, Marina. And Reyna again going for that early hatchery. Basically kind of a 15 hatchery into a 15 pool. And um, the overlord afterwards. So he's gonna have those extra queens. Well, extra, as I say, as extra queen. He's gonna have a, a very fast timing on his first two queens. And he's gonna get extra creep with that. And uh, delay his gas. So that's a trade-off you do. You'll delay your gas and your speed, so you're more vulnerable to something like Glaive the Depths, for example. Or just simple Adepts. Adept movement is gonna be tough. I mean, Glaive the Depths are not gonna be ready, usually before speed, right? But you get what I mean. You usually don't have as much position on the map against something like Glaive the Depths if you don't go for speed uh, very early. This time I want to thank everybody for tuning in already. And also... I want to promote my YouTube channel here a little bit. If you are watching on the YouTube right now, please do hit, a, um, hit the subscribe button. Or consider hitting the subscribe button. I've been doing a lot of these casts. Also follow the channel Artosis Casts 2. Been working on that one as well as an editor. So, uh, yeah. Any tiny support does go a long way. Thank you from very much for your consideration. And let's go on with the game. Arena going for a third here. He's gonna have some trouble there actually getting that um, adept out. As I said, it's very tough if you don't have speed. You're just relying on queens basically. The adept has been doing a good job there with the probe actually blocking that area. But I mean, Rain is just gonna go for the different one. And the Adept is not gonna find actual damage here, only a little bit of cancelled minerals, that's not too much. Second Adept though, joining now, and now he needs to be careful Rain than it is. He does have a lot of queens though, that's something you get with this opening. And he's about to pop one more, but this is gonna be a feisty amount here. Adepts are gonna be in position, he's gonna lose one drone only though, that's a good defense. That's a good defense, I take that trade. 
And one probe here actually being misrallied uh, into the main base. Wow, what an untypical mistake here by Classic. So some freebies here for Reyna actually. And Classic needs to bring it back. Remember, he had a flawless opening in game number one. And he did way more damage. While keeping basically every unit alive. And now... He's already down so many units, hasn't really done anything. Wow, another beautiful save there on a drone, and he's gonna get the Oracle as well. Oh my god, this is going so bad for Classic. Oh wow, he needs to be, he, he needs to do something, and he needs to do it fast. Oh my god, harassment is completely falling flat. Not even that, he's losing everything as well. That's, that's something, wow, that's really something. I mean, he basically killed two more drones worth in minerals, but it's not worth in mining time, right? Oh my god, is he gonna lose his oracle as well? Oh, gonna get away! Oh, if he had an overlord over here, man. If he had an overlord over here. Oh boy. Wow. The stellar defense here from Rainer, man. Really taking notes from game number one. That's what you wanna see. That's really what you love to see. All right, there we go. Finally something, something, a tiny bit going Classics way here. And this is maybe a reaction to him losing so many Adepts in the early game. He continued to produce Adepts and now he's on four. He's trying to get some damage done here. But I don't think, oh my God, did he just lose the Oracle? Oh, he did. There was this one off Creep Queen coming in for a flank and the Oracle wasn't regent with the shields. So it just died. Oh my God, Classic, man. This is such a bad opening for him for now. He's almost losing the last oracle. If he loses all of them, remember he needs to reproduce one. He needs to invest into more oracles because he, you need attack, you need the scouting information. You need something against those lurkers if your observers get sniped. It's a crucial unit. You, you're relying on those stasis wards as well for your pushes, for your blink timings. <laughs> Insanely good opening here for our Zerg player. Wow. He's making Classic look like a B-tier Protoss, basically. Tagging those Adepts with the Zerglings here. And yeah, Classic is even having a hard time denying the creep, man. Such a beautiful play. Oh, this might have been a little bit of an overextension here, but Classic is trying to shade forward, but I think most of the Adepts are gonna fall. Actually, three are gonna get through. He's gonna get a couple probes, maybe here, or workers. The beautiful save, your beautiful block. Only one worker goes down for those four attempts. My god. Rain is on point this game. Amazing. All right. Let's have a look at the protest. Let's have a look at classic. What are you doing? Okay, so this this does block your probes. So uh, there, there could have been a possible trap, and he doesn't want to create this. Also, if he has like an immortal popping out here, he wants it to be able to walk through there. We're going to see if this actually works or not. But yeah. A little bit of misplacement there. Storm is on the way. We do get some extra gates, but <laughs> everything feels so slow here. For our brute Protoss player, and he's having a tough time. Trying to warp in stalks against Lynx right now. And I wonder, yeah, Reyna did get plus one melee. So he's gonna go for a very Ling reliant offense here, and this is nice. A Ling drop, I love it. Those drops, remember, they're way better than they used to be in the current version of the game. And there's a, even a Queen drop here to the front, trying to go in for a fast one here. Can Classic make the defense hold? Reyna is very much down on workers, so he needs to do something. He needs at least to kill the space. And the Lynx, oh my god, this is not a good position for the Lynx, man. They have no surface area. They should have been fighting the right side here. They're trying to run into the smallest, tiniest area I've ever seen. The main attack has also been defended by that Oracle. So the damage he was looking for is not going to happen now. And all the Lynx have been depleted. Remember, he did go for plus one melee. So he does not have those extra damage on his ranged units, which I actually should have survived him here right now. And this defense is looking stellar so far for Classic. He's, he's losing a lot of probes though. And yeah, he, he needs to kind of... Maybe he's still gonna get overwhelmed, but... Man, he's been trying his best. Only one Zealot here into the main base. And finally, everything on the low ground is kind of falling apart. He, if he kind of salvages this Nexus though, he's still in a playable position, even though it's not gonna be a good position. But yeah. If he's gonna lose the Nexus, man, the shield battery's gonna go down here in a second. 
overcharge is gonna get stifled. Nothing's gonna happen there. One stalker trying to push out the overlord and every desperate warp in here, but warpins into Ravager Bites, not what you're looking for. Slow zealots also not really what you're looking for. GG well played, man. Reina pulling off the perfect defense there. Or the Zerg player. And then going into a beautiful timing attack, executing that perfectly as well. Maybe a little bit sloppy in the beginning, but it ended out. I mean, it ended up working out. So, what are you going to say? A win is a win in the end there.